Hey guys, it's another time for tying tips. Today's fly is uh, it's another willow bugger pattern. This is another sec segment of it. Today I'm gonna teach you a few different things actually. This is an extended body fly, and it is made of marabou and chenille, pretty much. And this is the willow bugger variation of my of this minnow pattern. Normally it'll it's about two to anywhere from two to five inches long. Um, the one I'm going to teach you is solid white. It's on a size 6 X1 streamer hook. That's like X1 long. But the cool thing about it, this is the smaller version. Yeah. That's it. I'm going to show you how to wrap the chenille back on the marabou. And this is actually my damsel pattern of this fly. For the body's a little thicker than the tail. And it's, it is wrap tackle but I trim the tops and bottoms to get the legs and gills. Alright, the version I'm going to teach you, however, is a bit bigger, it's more of a streamer pattern, and uh, it's really good for bass and carp and big trout. But this small version, if you do it without the marabou on the right here, and the hackle, and leave the body kind of thin, this is uh, micro chenille on this one. You can, if you do it in red or a pink or even a brown, you can use them for worm patterns. Even uh, a San Juan worm. It's a really good way to do it on this one. So, all right. I'm going to take you guys to the vise and now show you how to tie it. Okay, so here we go. Got my thread. This is I'm using white 6 out. We'll start at the front and I'm going to show you why. We're going to put a dumbbell on this guy because this is going to be our streamer version. Sit there, and we're going to tie our dumbbell a little bit away from the eye on the back because we're going to wrap some chenille and a little bit of material in front of it too. So we'll get this guy secure. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. We'll do a couple like that. Secure it, and we'll go to the back. Just like that. Now, when I ever, when I always do my dumbbells, I always do them on the top of the hook because I want it to write upside down. So here's our marabou feather. Now we'll take this tip piece because I don't like having tips in mine. Doesn't look good, and we'll clip it out. We'll take it, and we're gonna go a little longer than the hook. This is a good poofy fly too. Po good poofy feather. And we'll secure it in. We're going to wrap it all the way to the front. Just like that, right behind the eye. But a little bit of a gap behind the eye. So when we wrap stuff in, it's not going to crowd it. And I'm when I say eye, I'm talking about the dumbbell. Okay, and we'll come back on it just right here. There's our big poofy feather. Now here's our hackle feather. Let's throw this in. Now this is it's very easy to do. It's not super tricky or hard or anything. But it's a great, great fly. We use them a lot of times for smallmouth. And they work great. So here's our chenille. You're gonna want a bit longer piece than you normally use. Frugal of the booger, because we're going to be wrapping it quite a bit. Okay, so it's right there. We'll bring this up to the front, because so we're not going to wrap anything for a little while. And then we'll take this, and we'll just do one wrap, just kind of like that, just to keep this up here. So don't wanna, you don't want to wrap over it. And we'll do one wrap like this, and then we're going to come start going backwards on the hook. Just like that. And then we're going to transfer from the hook onto the mono, onto the marabou. Just like this. And you want to make sure that this is tight. If a couple of the fibers leak out from the chenille, it's okay, you can trim them off. And we're just going to wrap this around the marabou.
and I'll usually go about three quarters back so I got a little bit of poof there and keep it tight and then we're gonna do our wraps back but we're not gonna make them as even we're just gonna kind of put some space in between to get back but make sure it's tight so it'll sink in just like that and then we'll get back to the hook and we'll start doing some tight wraps And then we're up to where we want to be. Undo the hackle, pull that back, and there we go. Now we're going to wrap forward. A super simple fly. You can do it pretty much in any size. I like it a little, a little, about like this length on fishing baths and trout and stuff. But I even have bigger ones too for like big, big nasty fish. Now you can do this fly without the hackle or with. I like it with sometimes just because it adds a little bit to it. And this has nice wavy movement in the back. You know, just sit there and do that the whole time. And this, if you do it tight, will not come undone. But right now we'll take and we'll trim off that marabou that snuck through. And if you want to, you can put some super glue back here where the chenille and the marabou come together right there. Okay, now we'll take this. Now you see I left this here, I'll show you why in a minute. We'll take this and we'll just wrap it forward. I kind of I do close wraps with this fly just because I can. Adds a little more flair to it. Okay, pull this back. One, two just like that Beep. clip that off make sure it's good and secure come forward and we'll do one more wrap kind of like this come and we'll just make sure the eye is good and got good and white get a little head on it Beep. Make, make your jig fly just like that and that's it there you go oh yeah you can just any color you want to white is probably my favorite color with this fly very simple pattern it's great when having your box especially with an extended body and that's it and if you want to I've done it on a few of mine so I'll flip this over and I'll put a I'll put another marabou feather right here, just to add some to it. But that's it, just like that. And nice. And when this is going through the water, the tail is just sitting there, just do 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 do. Would a shake like a madman. But it gives it nice action. And like I said, you can do this without without the hackle or with. It doesn't matter. But it is a good. Good all around simple pattern to have in your box. You have that extended body, and if you want to, um, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. I mean, you can use we use a polar chenille for this sometimes, as because it's a real long if we're doing some big ones. Do polar chenille as the hackle, or we'll do a couple wraps right here behind the head, or we'll do it without a dumbbell. You know, the, it's limitless, limitless what you can do with it. And, you know, it goes back to this one. You can do them with bead or whatever. And you can see the size difference between them. And uh, it is good all-around flies. I mean, the willy boogers are, they are, you know, they're willy boogers. But it's just what you can come up with and add to your selection that just makes your chances of catching fish that much better. So, yeah, it's just... All you can do with a willy booger it's limitless so there's this one this is the extended body it's extended woolly and there you go so have fun get out and fish it and my favorite sizes for this are between this one which is a size 12 curved nymph hook up to a size 4 
uh, 1x long streamer hook. So get out and have fun. Alrighty. And just enjoy tying. <laughs>